We're going to start out by creating our first form. So to do that, it's just as easy as going to office.com in your Office 365 tenant. And then we can click here from the apps. We can click on forms. If it doesn't show up for you, it is just as easy to click on explore all apps. And then forms is here as well. And then it's also available in the app launcher if you need to get into it. So once we click on that, it'll load up all of the other forms that we've created and things that we've worked on. So we do have the option that we have our own personal forms, plus they also have group forms, which are forms that are allowed and tied to an Office 365 group. So that way, all members of the group can edit the form and can see the responses that have been on it, which really works nice when you're trying to work with the team to gather in some information. For today's purposes, we're just going to be creating a fairly basic form, so I'm just going to create one on my own. So I click on new form, we get the form designer. So I can come in here and I can start typing things out. So we can say ESPC, oops, ESPC webinar. Okay, so what we're gonna be creating today, we're gonna be creating a fairly simple tool for being able to RSVP, for example. Even though I know you guys have already RSVP'd, you're attending the webinar today, we're just gonna use that as a sample web case so that we can see how we can make this work. So as part of this, we can stick with the basics here. I can also select an image that I want to go with it. So I'm gonna go out and search and see what we've got for ESPC. Nope. European SharePoint. We'll spell it out. Okay, we have a bunch of different content. And let's just go with something basic then. Okay, we'll select this guy. And then we'll hit add. So you can see we now have the ability to put an image here. We can put in some instructions for our users. So you can say, please this event. And now we can start building in the, the form and gathering the information we want from users. So for this one, since we're doing an RSVP, I want first name for sure and email address, for example. So once we have those, okay, yep, those are the ones I want. Let's add selected. Then also I'm going to add in a question that's gonna be a choice. And I'm gonna say favorite, let's see, I'll go this way, favorite feature, okay? So we can say power apps forms groups point. Anyway, we can create a bunch of different options. For this particular one, I want to make sure this guy is required, and I'm going to allow multiple selections. So that way, because I know what a lot of us are concerned we have a lot of different features that we like as part of Office 365, so I'm gonna allow it. Let's just double check here. We need to make sure these guys are also required. There we go. So now we have our form ready. I wanna just snazz it up a little bit here. So I can come in and I can select the theme. So I can go out and search for an image. I'm not gonna go with a SharePoint image this time frame. I'm going to go since most of the people probably attending are living in the cold north where they're dealing with some snow. So I'm just going to look for an image of a blizzard. So let's see. Since most people are digging out right now, we'll go with that guy. So you can see it sets the image in our background. Also, we can pick a color scheme if we want to set a specific color. So I can say hash. Oops. Get rid of the extra part there. Okay, cool, we have no background, we have a little more color to it. Now we can also come in and preview and see what this form would look like. So if we click on the preview option, this is what it would look like if we sent somebody the URL directly to our form. Also, we can click on mobile, and this is what it would look like if somebody opened it up on their phone. So we have a bunch of different ways we can kind of proof and test it out. So if we come back here, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill out my information. And I'm going to select, let's do form, power apps, flow. Cool. 
Now I'm ready, I hit submit. Cool. So now if we go back, we can go to see in our responses, we now it says a one, so we have one response to it. And we can come in here and we can see here's my information. And since I selected the three, it automatically updated with those three responses that I selected. As part of this, Forms is also keeping track of the start and end time. So say, for example, you want to promise to yours, okay, this form takes two minutes to respond to the, to respond to the survey. It'll take more, no more than two minutes of your time. You can actually validate to see how long it takes people to fill it out, just to, as informational purposes. So for example, if we go into view results, you can see it took me 32 seconds to complete. Also, when we're done, I can open this up in Excel and deal with the information. Now, one of the things we wanted to deal with as well is at this point in time, this form is only available to people in my tenant. So for example, that means it will be available to me. Not super helpful since it's a very small tenant. I wanna get more people to register. So I can come into here, if I click on settings, we do have branching information. If you wanna control, okay, if they answer the question this way, we wanna ask this question next. But what we need is we're gonna go under settings. So in settings, if I wanna allow anybody, I just check this option here, and then I can send the form to anybody in the world and they can fill it out. No sign in required, so it's truly anonymous. The other option we have here is that only people in my organization and to record their name. So if I leave this checked, it'll leave, give them a message saying, hey, when you fill this form, the people will be able to see your name and email address. If you don't want that, you want to have it be anonymous inside your organization, you can just uncheck that. Also, you can say only allow one response per person. The cool thing we can do as well is we can also control when people can respond. So right now, the accept responses is open so anybody can respond to it. I can also say, you know what, I only want this form to be open during a certain date range. So I can say, okay, from today through, well, let's go through tomorrow. I want, at that point in time, I want people to be able to respond to it. Also, I can customize the thank you message. So instead of just these canned responses, your response was submitted, Thank you for registering for our webinar. We'll send you a confirmation. There we go. Okay. Also, we can get an email notification every time somebody responds. It responds if we want. Also, if you are doing it inside your organization and you record their name, we'll turn this guy back on. We get this option that says to send an email receipt to respondents, which gives them a confirmation email that they did fill out the form, plus a link to be able to go view the responses they entered. I'm hoping this is Microsoft leading up to the ability to allow us to edit responses that we submitted previously, but at that point in time, we don't have that ability. Once we've gone through, we've got everything configured, we're good to go. We can now click on share and share our form out. Now, we have the default option, we can just grab a link. We also do have the ability to grab a QR code so that way people can respond to it. And then we have a few different options. We do also have the ability to share the form as a template so others can start from that. Or we can also get a link that we can send to people so they can get permissions to work on that form if, we're, if they're not part of our group or if we did just a basic form so we can get other people to be able to come in and work with it as well. So if we want to see what that experience looks like, if I just copy. <laughs> I said to only allow one response. All right. We can try that again. And again. Turn out too many options. There we go. We see we have all sorts of stuff going on here. I can just fill it out again, but we've already seen how that behavior works. All right, so this point in time, 